Ana Luisa is an ethically made jewelry brand based in New York. They offer high quality yet accessible jewelry staples that are carbon neutral and climate neutral certified. This is the second time they've sent me some of their pieces and just like the first time they've packaged them in recyclable boxes. With Valentine's Day approaching, I wanted to get something special for some of my loved ones. I got my mom the Dobby green earrings and they also got the mini Kinoko earrings and the Salome earrings. My mom and I are very similar in a lot of ways and I really look up to her and I'm very thankful that she's in my life and that I'm able to talk to her daily and also being able to share jewelry with her. It may be something very small but it's the type of pleasure that I know in many years to come whenever I look back at the earrings that we used to share. I know it's going to bring so many fond memories and I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to share this with her. They are currently offering a Valentine's Day sale where you can buy one and get one 50% off. Let me show you all the pieces that I own from Ana Luisa. I got these earrings from my mom. She has green eyes, so I think they're going to match perfectly with her eyes. Then the Hana necklace is honestly the only necklace that I like wearing. It's just so dainty and it goes with everything. And I've had this for almost a year and it's still in perfect condition. Then the Michelle earrings. These are the ones that I've worn the most. These are my go-to two earrings every single day then these are the mini kinoko earrings these are the ones i'm currently wearing and i love them so much and then these are the salome earrings i got them because they remind me of a matisse painting whenever i wear these earrings i just feel like i'm wearing art on my ears and that's a feeling that i really like and lastly i also own the hana liquid orange earrings and an ear cuff if you like any of the jewelry that i showed during this video make sure to click the first link in the description box so you can get my matching jewelry with a loved one you can buy one and get the other one 50% off and if by any chance you see this video after the sale has ended don't worry i also have a discount code which is Pere romances 20 i truly adore the jewelry so make sure to browse the website and see the offers that they have so thank you so much Ana Luisa, for sending me these amazing pieces now let's get back to the video yeah ah que nervios I'm going to react to the Goodreads color for the like the really talent. Last year was orange, which is my favorite color, but I also love green. Color is blue. Again. Thanks. Guys, I think it's snowing. Wait, it's snowing! Now that it's a new year, I feel like a lot of people are going to start posting videos of how to make 2023 your best year, how to make a vision board or mood board or whatever it is. But I just want to share with you something that helps me to put life into perspective because sometimes I feel like we're constantly wishing for something else and maybe that something else is something that we already have. But we just need to see it from another point of view. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have. 
of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. That, that keeps things moving. That's the nature of life. So in this idea then, everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality. Not God in a politically kingly sense, but God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that. Only you're pretending you're not. In Spain, we exchange Christmas gifts on the morning of the 6th of January. I think it's called Three Wise Men, like the Three Kings. Arres Max in Catalan. I got some books, I got some clothing pieces and some journal things. And I also got some vinyl. I would love to make a record collection video, like showing you all my records. So first of all, I got the latest Bruce Springsteen vinyl. This is a deluxe edition. Also, I'm going to see Bruce Springsteen, I think it's in the end of April or the end of April. It's going to be my second time seeing him. Then I also got Led Zeppelin and lastly I got the doors. <laughs> that looks so funny. Hey, let's talk about my 2023 bookish and personal resolutions and goals for the new year. Let's start with the bookish ones and the first one is to read 60 books. I set my Goodreads goal to 60 but I think I'm probably going to read around 30 to 40 books maybe because I don't have as much time as I used to with reading. I mean, I would love to be able to read more books, but I do not have the time sadly. 60 is a random number that I decided to go for, so I don't really care for it less or more. But something that I do actually care is to tackle my physical TBR. Some of the books that I've had on my TBR for I don't know, five, six years maybe, or maybe even more some of them. So I do want to, you know, tackle my physical TV at the books I already own and prioritize them. I didn't do that 23 books for 2023 this year because I have more unread books. Like I have more books on my TV than 23. I made a video actually talking about my entire physical TVR. So those are the books I'm going to prioritize. I, um, I'm obviously going to read more books I don't physically own. Like I'm going to buy them on Kindle, whatever. But I don't think I'm going to buy like a lot of physical books this year. I'm not going on a book buying ban. Like if I want to buy books, I'm, I obviously can. But for the most part, I don't want to keep buying books. And then I have some small green challenges that I showed on when I showed you my reading journal. The ones here. These are just things that I want to prioritize in my reading. Books in an academic setting. Books about witchcraft folklore or mythology, Victorian or romantic classics. Romantic is from the romanticism period. My mom recommendations is basically books that my mom recommended to me. I'm actually currently reading an essay collection that she recommended to me and I'm absolutely loving it. So yes, mom recommendation. Then translate books from any language and then Spanish and Catalan books. But by Spanish and Catalan, I mean written in Spanish and Catalan, not translated. Obviously, I don't read translated books like if the book is written in spanish and catalan i read them in their original language i think like for most mo like for most part i'm also going to talk about the goals and habits i set for 2022 and see if i accomplish them or not this year i only set three different goals for myself read 70 books i did i read 73 read books i bought in 2021 i didn't read every single one of them but i did read part of them then 22 books for 2022 i did not accomplish this the majority of the books i wrote on that list are books that i didn't own so i didn't you know prioritize in them then read 2022 new releases i did accomplish this i actually read a lot of new releases and i'm really happy i did and i want to keep reading more new releases because that's something i really enjoy doing continue dnf series i also did this one 
Honestly, I didn't have like 90% of the series that I was in the middle of, but I'm glad that I did it because now I can just relax without worrying that I have to read them. Do that good with choice of words. I started doing it, but I decided to not do it this year or ever again, honestly. I did it for 2021 and it was really, really fun. This year I read, I think it was four of the books. And then when I read The Maid, which was the winner for the Mr. Gantry category, I just decided to stop doing it because after reading the book, I, I had enough, you know? And do that books around the world challenge, I did not accomplish this one. I read from 18 different countries, I think, but I did prioritize doing this at the beginning of the year, but then I just stopped prioritizing it, sadly. And then track my reading. I did. I have this amazing Google spreadsheet that I, I used what was that sound? Like I was saying, I have this amazing Google spreadsheet that I used throughout the entire year. And then for 2023, I added some things, I removed some things, I modified some things. And I think that Google spreadsheet is just, it's just so suited for my reading taste that I love using it. Then for the habits that I had were to annotate books, like to annotate more books or start annotating. And I did also accomplish this one. When I don't annotate every single book that I own. And sometimes I tab it, sometimes I just write on the margins or sometimes I just do more research. Then the next one is to DNF books. I'm so happy that I started DNF in books. I'm so happy that I started DNF in books. I've, I've always been the type of person to never DNF books because I love finishing things as well with series. Even if I'm not liking the series, I just have this urge to finish it. But I'm glad that I decided to stop, like to stop reading the books I don't like. My average rating for 2022 was amazing because of that, because I didn't read a lot of two star books or one star books because I didn't have them before finishing them. And then the last one is to focus more on adult and general you enjoy. I also did this one. So for my habits, I accomplished all of them. And for my goals, I accomplished uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five out of eight. I think it's I think it's good. Honestly, I'm happy. I think I had a good reading year. Obviously, reading should be fun. And I feel like being in the book community, sometimes I put a pressure on myself that I shouldn't. I feel like the more time I spend on the book community, I start doing things differently because I don't want to make reading something so technical and something so analytical because I've never been a very critical reader I read for fun sometimes the book cannot be perfectly written but if I love the book I'm going to give it five stars and I'm going to adore that book so I've always been a very you know easygoing reader I guess I don't even know if that's a term but I've always been more easygoing with reading and I want to keep doing being that way because I've I've always been a reader I've always loved reading even if I only read 10 books a year that's still reading and then for my personal goals these are some of my personal goals i'm not going to get too much detail because i these are also not every single one of my personal goals but these are some of them welcome to 2023 i hope you guys had a good beginning of the year and i hope you're taking care of yourselves my mental health lately is just a rock coaster of emotions i've i'm dealing with quite a lot of things in my personal life hey life keeps going and i'm trying to make i'm trying to make the best out of it I'm trying to be a more happy person i'm trying to go be more easy going and not to be so stressed all the time so anxious all the time so those are some of other goals that i want to implement into my life those are more like habits that i want to implement into my life and again thank you so much anna luisa for sending me these amazing pieces I don't feel wearing them like every single day since I got them. And Alvisa are always my go-to jewelry. I, I just love them so much. Make sure to click the first link in the description box and just browse through the website and see every single collection they have, the different products. They have rings, they have necklaces, they have bracelets and earrings. I love earrings so much. They have so many things and they're also sustainable. You can buy two of them and they will last two for so many years if you take good care of them. Thank you so much, Annalisa, for sending me these amazing pieces. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing year, day, life. Honestly, I, I wish all the best for you and I will see you guys soon. Bye!